Well, hello. Thought I'd just share a few thoughts with you about uh, the old pal Cyril who passed away uh, last week. He was the my neighbour in the gardens here. Uh, he'd been here for 60 plus years, tending to his garden right up until the end. Um, and uh, what a character. Um, <laughs> yeah, he'd had the same opinion as Cyril, not one at all. He wouldn't, he wouldn't swear, he wouldn't swear, he was old school, aye, um, aye it's not going to be the same at all, coming out here and he'd always be sat on that chair over there where the rose is, um, he wouldn't say much through the winter months, but uh, yeah, there's his greenhouse, which he tended to do, his last crop of tomatoes still in there, um, and his uh, cucumbers and stuff. Aye, uh, it was his passion. But uh, this last this last year, he was fit. Well, the last six months, he was failing quite a bit. And he thought uh, he wouldn't be able to do it next year. And we we come up hatched up a plan together that uh, he would uh, set his seeds away, and I would plant them for him and uh, look after them for him. Take the whole garden over um, and plant in it rather than plant in mine. And he was happy with that because he hated to see it the way it is. He hated to see it that way. Um, yeah, and uh, this tree here, yeah, it was a Christmas tree. He planted it 60 years ago, I think. And his biggest regret to date. <laughs> he always complained about it. And that one over there was also one of his Christmas trees. He never ever guessed that they'd grow that big. Yep, I will be a big miss. It will be a big miss. Um, yep, as I said, I was going to look after the whole plot for him. He's got lovely apple trees up there. Um, he's got fig trees, he's got pear trees. He's got all sorts of meat. He did manage to plant that little bit himself there. And he used to make his own Sunday dinner every every Sunday. He had his routine. He would never, you wouldn't never see him in the garden on a Sunday um, because that was his uh, bath day and he'd make his dinner. Yeah, he used to look after all this, right up the top there, there's a massive, massive strawberry patch. And he used to look after it, even if he couldn't, well, he didn't plant it up because he was on his own, he lived on his own for 40 years, I think. Um, and he used to plant it all, he used to show his lakes and stuff like that, he was very good. At, uh, and won loads and loads of prizes, often showed us his little prize cards. Um, yeah, he used to rotivate this every year, top and bottom, even if he wasn't planting it. And that rotivator, my oh God, we've had that in bits quite a lot. The rotivator itself, it's like Trigger's broom. It's got, the, it's the same rotivator, but had about five or six different engines. Uh, but yeah, he, up until that, I mean, I rotivated last year for him. It's overgrown again, and he was, he was saying, "You didn't do it like that, young man. Give it to you." And he, he couldn't do it, he couldn't do it, and he says, I'll just leave you to it. Um, yeah, but I, I'm, I, I really hope that this land, when it comes up for sale and stuff like that, it gets kept as a garden and not sold it to a developer or or it just becomes overgrown mess. Because he would hate that, he would hate that. Um, Aye. So, yes, Green Fingers won't be the same without him. And as he would always say, keep smiling, human, keep smiling. And I will in his memory when I think about him. Because we had, we had some canny crack with some stories. He always had a story to tell. And there'd be many a time he'd be, uh, he'd be sat on his chair over there and he'd uh, just start with a poem. And uh, half the time I couldn't understand what he was saying because he'd be laughing his back off at it. And I just had to go along with it, laugh with him. And I'd say to him, Cyril, when, did you learn that at school? And he'd say, oh, I didn't know, I can't remember you, man. I never heard him call him by me first. I mean, he's known me for, well, since I was a bairn. And growing up, I've never ever heard him call me by me first name. It's always you, man. Are you there, young man? Are you there? <laughs> anyway, keep smiling. That's all you can do. ta -da for now. Rest in peace, Cyril, my old lad. <laughs>